Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode here on Duly Noted. It's been so long. It's been so long. Uh, but I am back in it, back making videos here because a new game has been brought to my attention by Mr. Caden Jensen over at the Achievement Hunter office. He told me about this game called The Westport Independent, which, uh... It seems like a game that I'm pretty familiar with. So we're just going to see how it goes. I have no idea what this is really going to be, but we will just try it out. Also, if you see a little hand poking up in the screen on my webcam, don't don't worry about it. I'm not being grabbed inappropriately. It's just my hand. Oh! That's right. It's a shirt with my face on it. And you can buy it at roosterteeth.com slash store. So you should go there. And buy yourself a Jeremy shirt, Jeremy t-shirt. Represent! Listen to that noir music. Oh, okay. This is a work of fiction, blah, 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 disclaimers. Come on! Come on! What do I look like? Someone who needs disclaimers. Uh, the Loyalist Party, which is like the government. It's the government that owns Westport, which is where I am. So, as you can see, this is what uh, this bill coming out soon is going to do, alright? It's, uh... Coming into force on the 16th of May, 1949, it will improve the quality of independent media outlets. Uh, it has guidelines for independent media outlets to follow and mandatory for independent media outlets to join the Loyalist News and Media Association. What is my responsibility when the bill comes into force? Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of our country. Uh, no deceitful content. Basically, don't make the Loyalist government look bad is what I'm getting. So, this is the Westport Independent. Uh, oh, I've got mail. Let's see, what do we got here? Dear Editor, that's me. I'm the editor. Phil has been putting up more loyalist propaganda in the office. You know I can't stand this shit, so I decided to pull it down. It should be on your desk together with this note from Frank. All right, Phil and Frank always getting in fights. Loyalty, morality, and propriety. These are the basis of a civilized society. Oh, and it rhymes! Holy shit! Fucking Dr. Seuss is the president! That was fr So, Phil, obviously, there, you can see midway, he, like, is leaning towards loyalist and not rebel. Went to a private college, lives with a disabled brother. So, these are my, uh, writers, I guess. Julie, known for having doubtful opinions of the government. Ooh, you f rebel scum. Um, private college, community college. No college education. Frank, what are you even fucking doing here? Of course you're a rebel. You're an idiot. All right, deal. So, here's my stories. Uh, tutorial article one about censoring. So, basically, I can change the title by clicking on it. Welcome to the extraordinary and amazing soon to be game of the year winner the Westport Independent is what I could change the title to or tutorial article number one censoring. I like that. Uh, one of the game's main mechanics is censoring articles. You do this by clicking on paragraphs that seem inappropriate. When censored, that content won't be shown to the public and will affect neither their opinion nor the government's suspicion of you. You can also change the headline by clicking on it. I already said that. I already said that so I'm going to cross that out because who needs to know that. Then, once I like the story, I uh, give it to a certain person. And I'm gonna give this one to Frank because it's pretty easy. Uh, this next one. Employees, when you've sent an article, it needs to be transcribed. To do this, put it in one of the named folders on the bottom right. The employees all have different opinions and they'll be discussing how to run your paper. Yeah, right, this is my paper. You're not telling me how to run it. They also have their lives to protect, so don't blame them if they don't wish to follow you into death. This part is about your employees. All right, good. So tutorial number two can go to Anne. That's fine with me. Frank's like, you know, I've never been a big fan of the loyalist government, but the public culture bill was even worse than expected. Hey, don't blame it on the government. Blame it on the yellow journalism and the blatant lies that some newspapers post these days. There's nothing good about a misinformed public. Yeah, well, sure. But do you realize how much power the government will have over the media with this? I agree with Frank on this one. I can't see how the public culture bill would be beneficial for anyone but the government. Well, media outlets like ourselves have a scary amount of power over people's opinions. But on the other hand, I don't think that giving the power to the government is a great idea either. That's what they all sound like. That will change over the course of this game. Ooh, we're selling a lot of papers in the southern docks. Uh, plus two loyalist? Minus twelve, they're suspicious of me. What? Plus eighteen. Okay, cool. I've got mail. 
There is nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. In the world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture bill is for your protection. Oh my god, I've got seven articles. Fast food chain plans to make its way into Westport. That's a great story. Food giant enters into Westport with a bang. Massive fast food chain Jolie's has finally made its way into Westport. With restaurants all over the world, the food giant has quickly risen to the world's largest international food chain. Located in the Western Districts, the chain's first restaurant, Westport, will open its doors to the public next weekend. I like that. I like that. Police officer charged with misconduct. Police officer given life for refusing to kill teenage girl. Let's go with the other one. Today, the ongoing trial of local law officer Daniel Samuel is concluded with a verdict. Found guilty of gross misconduct and endangering innocent lives, Samuels was sentenced to life. Damn right. Samuels was charged for refusing to follow orders to execute an arrested rebel bomber. She was only 15 years old, Samuels reportedly stated. Mm, let's cross that part out. Might want to cross this out, too. It was charged for refusing to follow orders to execute an arrested rebel bomber. Yeah, let's cross that out. Let's just cross that out. Uh, what's this one? New park plan for the Southern Docks. Government's new park leaves hundreds of people home. New park plan for the Southern Docks. A new park is planned for the Southern Docks in preparation for next year's sports festival. The government will make room for the park by demolishing nearby apartment complexes. The apartments currently house 500 people. The, uh, that's not a... No. Um, government burns books and liberty... Government prevents the spreading of rebel propaganda. Yesterday, Liberty Square lit up as police officers started. The event was the result of months of. You know, let's just not write about that. Uh, 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 no, where'd that go? Mercury? What? Mercury found in fish from the southern docks? Fish from the southern docks could kill you! This morning, a shipment of fish from the docks was found to contain a dosage of mercury exceeding the national guidelines. Viewed as a potential health hazard, the shipment was confiscated. Medical officers, however, confirmed that the dosage is still below lethal amounts. The public is advised to avoid purchasing fish from the southern docks. No, no, that will hurt. That will hurt their business. What is this? Man attacks police officer. What? Man defends teenager. Police officer presses... Man attacks police officer. One teenager was caught writing rebel messages on walls close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer officer's partner arrived on the scene. This That one's possible. And what is this? New LMAA chairman discusses his plans for a responsible press. Minister Against Culture tries to whitewash his... All right. In a press event today, LNMA Chairman Andrew Lakin addressed his recent appointment. Proud of his nomination, Lakin discusses his plans for a more responsible press. This came up while addressing the accusations of a... Slander like... That is exactly why the LMNA is needed. Let's just do this. And we'll... All right. All right. So here's... Here's the four I'm going to do. Let's just not use that. Okay, um, a new park plan for the Southern Docks. Who lives in the Southern Docks? Someone lives in the South, right? Julie. Nice. Okay, which one's gonna be the most here? Th Phil, all you, buddy. Uh, police officer charged with misconduct. Anne. And that just leaves the fast food for Frank. That makes sense, Frank. That's where you should be working because you didn't go to college. Send it to print. I'll be in my mansion. Uh, so I heard they're finally gonna make use of the old Wellster and Sun shop across the street. They're opening a fast food place, right? It's supposed to be some sort of global sensation, so I guess it'd be interesting to try out. Yeah, it just raises your appetite, doesn't it? A bunch of corporate vultures swooping in to pick the bones clean. Classy. I went to a Jolie's once when I was abroad. Awful food and rude personnel. I think the concept is brilliant. It's efficiency at the highest degree. I wish they'd use those degrees to heat up their food instead. What a bunch of whiny bitches. Oh! We're selling like hotcakes, bitches! Why? Why are you getting suspicious of us? Come on! Uh, what do we got? 
Romeville Industries lays off 400 employees. Let's change that to Romeville Industries takes out financial issues on its... Let's throw that one away. All right. Customs fight back against contraband. Okay. A huge number of imported movies were seized by customs officials last night. The movies in question were all foreign productions that have never made it to the Westport's movie market. Many of the movies are labeled as submersive propaganda by the government. Smuggling is smuggling. These items are illegal for a reason. Alright. Police arrests union chairman. Union chairman Ernest Lynch was arrested today for suspected rebel ties. Uh, oh. Union leader excuses protesters violence yeah this makes him look like a bad guy organizing many of westport's recent protests lynch has become a hero of the working class nope these protests have been accused of disturbing the peace and promoting violence lynch claims that the violence in question was self-defense against attacking police officers boom yeah right self-defense Movie star invests in fashion line. Movie star throws away more money on clothes. Renowned movie star Harold Finn was invested in the latest fashion line by designer Vera Vizauna. I was speechless, the star said when seeing Vizauna's work for the first time. I've never seen anything like it before. He has great taste, the designer stated. Only a few can tell the difference between fashion and garbage, and Mr. Finn is one of them. Romeville Industries suffers further financial losses. Oh, see, this is the same thing. The company lost roughly 30 million L this year, making it Romeville's third fiscal year in a row with negative earnings. Let's ditch that one. Fire in apartment complex. A fire erupted last night in the apartment complex between the Southern Docks and the Western District. During the two hours it took to extinguish the blaze, 42 apartments were damaged at the point of being uninhabitable. The survivors have had to move in with friends and family as the city is yet to provide aid. Ah, uh, no, please be good. No, no, the Northern Herald shuts its doors. Today, after almost a century of publication, the popular magazine, the Northern Herald, releases its final issue. Oh, sad to see you go, brother company. You didn't have a good editor like me, though. Bow, bow, loyalist. Hup. Its sudden dismantlement was due to violations of the guidelines set up in preparation for the public culture bill. The paper's marketer, which was responsible for advertising several Westport's other independent newspapers, was also shut down. Let's just do that one. And let's not do the fire. Okay, um, alright, uh, the union leader excuses protest environments while blaming police. What a fucking prick. Alright, movie star, that's to fill. Yeah, that's a fill story. Uh, the Northern Herald shuts its doors. Uh, that can go to Julie? Nice, okay. Customs fight back against contraband can go to Anne. And Frank, my main man! You got- Please, sir, I cannot bring myself to write this article. Oh, oh my god, I've mixed up Phil and Frank? Wait, wait, Phil. Oh my god, I mixed up Phil and Frank. I am so sorry, guys. I think I did their voices wrong, too, then. Phil, Phil. Went to private college. Phil, I'm so sorry. I mixed you and Frank up. Dude, I'm really sorry about that. Oh, I gotta lay it out. This is gonna be front page. Boom. Uh, uh, boom. Next. There we go. Boom. Marketing. Drag slider to change your marketing focus between the different districts. Uh, we need more in the north, so I'm gonna go with north. How about that? Publish it. Boom. All right, so Frank's the idiot. So I think Frank's the high-pitched one, right? Passed through the southern docks on my way home to pick up some stuff for my friend. My gosh, that place just becomes more run down every year. Is Frank the idiot or is Phil the idiot? Oh my god, I can't remember who the idiot is. Is it Frank or Phil? I think Phil is the idiot. Never mind. So Frank goes, pass through the southern docks on my way home to pick up some stuff for a friend. My gosh, that place just becomes more run down every year. I'm surprised you dare go to go there. There are just so many criminals there who will rob you blind if you make a single mistake. Which one of you is the dumb one? I don't know. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I've walked through there before, and while it's a rowdy place to say the least, personally, I've never been attacked. I've got to agree with Phil on this one. 
I've had friends who've been assaulted there, so there's no way I'd go near that place with a, without reliable company. A, a woman probably shouldn't walk in those parts of the city anyway. A woman should be able to walk alone anywhere without fear of her life. That's the best I can do. I don't remember who is the dumb one. The dumb one is the one who sounds like this. What? Boom! Look, the cell still loves me. I didn't have to fucking do anything. Ah, they're less suspicious. Oh, we're so popular! Alright. Phil is smart. Frank is dumb. Wait, give me a pen. So I can remember you assholes. Phil, smart, Frank. There. See? Phil, smart. Frank. Alright guys, so that was two weeks of the Westport Independent. Um, if you like that game, let me know and I'll do another part in the future and I promise I'll remember who Phil and Frank are and what their voices sound like. So, thank you very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you want to see more, you gotta write it in the comments below and say I want to see another episode. So thanks for stopping by. Make sure to check out uh, my new band with Spencer called 1551 and our song that just came out called Sometimes. I'm going to play it over the credits on this one. While you're watching that and listening to it, feel free to click on any of the videos that come up and take that time to subscribe and check out the other videos in the playlist. All right. All right. Sounds good. Bye everyone. <laughs>